Lunar Flight Tutorial 10 Lost Cargo Missions. Select a lost cargo mission on the mission computer and accept it. Note the indicated location east of Delta. Have a look at the map, find Delta Base, and it's approximately in this location. Before we take off, make sure your transponder is activated and buy some additional fuel. Now we can fly towards the location. The beeping you can hear is the transponder detecting the lost cargo container. You can see the blue light flashing in the cockpit. As we get closer, the beeping rate increases. It's clearly visible in the velocity camera now. need to land within 3 meters of it. Approximately when it fills the velocity camera display, you're close enough. You can tell if you're close enough as the recover button will appear in the mission computer. To recover, we can press the recover button, press backspace on the keyboard, Press down on the D-pad on the Xbox 360 controller, or press the switch in the cockpit. After we've recovered the cargo, take note of how much it weighs, and refer to the liftoff power to weight chart. It's going to take 60.5% power to lift off. We've used a lot of fuel getting here, so we'll use some of the additional fuel we bought. Next, refer to the cargo page and take note of its destination. Here it says Delta. Delta is already selected in navigation, so we'll fly there. As with transport missions, you can use the switch in the cockpit or other unload buttons to unload the cargo. And we've been promoted. That concludes this video.